I think uh, robots are like uh, little uh, cartoons. It's, it's like you're, you're telling a story. Only the difference is a cartoon is just picture by picture by picture. Here you just have programmed situation by situation by situation. What you're seeing right now is Yellow Drum Machine, a robot built by Fritz Lindborg from letsmakerobots.com. Yellow Drum Machine, or YDM, is a tiny rover that seeks out standing surfaces and rolls over to them. Once it gets there, he drums out a little beat, recording himself while he does it, and then plays it back. In perfect sync, YDM plays his newly recorded sample in a loop and drums along on the beat. Once he gets bored, he dumps the sound file and finds a new surface. Lucky for us, Fritz took a moment or two to talk to us via Skype about YDM and about what it's made of. The first thing we need to know is that the chipset he used to build it is something called Pickaxe. Well, uh, I was just about the, the, the Pickaxe. Uh, it's, it's founded by, uh, I think it's sponsored or something, by, by private uh, health company, I think. I'm not sure. You can read about it uh, on pickaxeco.uk. Uh, but it's uh, what what they wanted. I think was just to make a uh, educational system, and what they came out with uh, is is actually a system that is I call it robot ready because there's both the chip, of course, uh, or the chips. Uh, they are they come in different sizes, but then there's the boards that uh, that you can easily purchase uh, that that you can easily use with these chips. And these boards are quite handy because uh, a lot of them come with uh, what we call motor drivers and the ability to uh, revert current. So you will not only have a robot driving forward and then uh, stopping, you can also make it drive backwards. And as for programming, YDM is programmed in BASIC. <laughs> and I personally think that's the best uh, programming language uh, for robots because, well, I was just about to say, because it's BASIC. <laughs> Actually, the, the limited framework, to me, just uh, supports the creativity because it's, it's sort of like a little funny computer game. You can only do this, and then you find funny ways of doing it. Otherwise, the, the whole world is open, and, and you're like a child in a toy store, like, what should I do, and how should I do it? Apparently, some people think that I'm that I'm doing some advanced uh, uh, robotic stuff, and uh, the thing is, I wouldn't have a clue about how to uh, do any advanced programming because I'm not really a programmer. This this robot child doesn't understand much, so you'll have to put yourself in the place of uh, the, the 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 robot and just say, oh, okay, uh, now first drive ahead, and and you can teach the robot to do that. And uh, then it, it uh, enters a wall, uh, so you put a sensor on top of it, perhaps. And you say, okay, now look, when this sensor is uh, getting too close to the wall, you should uh, sort of stop. And then it does that. And then you look at it and say, fine, good robot. And you just progress like that. And uh, that's how, I, like the, the yellow drum machine, that's just uh, how I did it. Humans are humans, flies are flies, robots are robots, but I think they can all be sort of alive in their own way, if you know what I mean. Okay.
when we work with robots, uh, we like to make uh, autonomous robots. Uh, we like to, uh, to sort of create life. You can uh, argue, of course, is it life or is it not? But uh, it may be, maybe we should uh, redefine uh, what we call life. Uh, maybe it's not uh, something is alive and something's not. Maybe you can make something that is partly alive. And, uh, I mean, you, sometimes people uh, define life with... Uh, the ability to uh, tell a joke uh, or be creative, but I mean, can a fly tell a joke or be creative? No, it can't. Uh, so, but a fly is still alive, right? So, what what we think, uh, the, my friends and I, when we're building robot, is that you can sort of create something that is partly alive, um, and for that magic to happen, you, you just sit there and you have a lot of parts laying around you. And and you put them together, and yeah, as I just said, you you teach the robot and so forth. And at a point, all of a sudden, the thing is autonomous. It 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 is alive. It is uh, actually doing something that you did not tell it to. You just said to it, if you're in this situation, measuring that, and you were in that situation before, and you should be in that situation, you should sort of move this that way. It's it's interacting uh, with its surroundings, and. All of a sudden, you have something that does something that you did not plan it to do. So, in some way, it's alive. Let's Make Robots.com is an online community created by Fritz and his friends to share all of the knowledge that they've accumulated over the years about robot making and about the philosophies behind it. It's exactly what I'm trying to do with Make Robots.com. I'm trying to, uh, to give people a head start. I think there are other communities out there, but to me, they were way too uh, focused on electronics or coding or, or techniques, all that stuff, and not so much on the community and the friendliness and the fun about it. Uh, I think uh, the, the chips you can buy now, they are actually it's it's actually so easy to buy robots. So you just need a mm -hmm. community that uh, is, is uh, able to to catch you and, and start you up. And that's why we made LetMeRobots.com. So if you have any interest in learning how to build robots yourself, or even just checking out the robots that others are building, log on to LetsMakeRobots.com.